Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gaming with Adrian. Welcome to Age of Empires. Uh, the next mission we're going to look at is called River Outpost. And let's have a look at it. So, this is the scenario instructions. The power of our armies and religion has stabilized in our frontiers of the time being. The Nubians to the south remain a threat, however, although subduing them is too expensive to consider as an alternative. The Pharaoh has an order uh, that the river outpost be placed on a strategic Nile River island to discourage Nubian tra uh, raiders from coming down the river. Locate the large island in the center of the river to the north and build a town center and two guard towers there. Okay, so we need to locate the large Nile island, build a town center and build two guard towers. Sounds super complicated but uh, let's have a look so we do start off with a bit of trade and this will be the first time we can actually mine some gold so let's get into that and I'm just gonna set up a small industry because I think it's gonna be required um, so the sooner we actually start off with quite a bit of um, resources as soon as I can, I'm actually just going to see what's around close by. But I just want to set up this industry first. So, I think if I can possibly set up five uh, farming camps here. Get about five guys on wood. And um, let's say about four guys on gold. I'd be pretty happy. So... I I think this is going to be the dense forest area, and this is where I'm going I'm to try and get the most wood from. So what we're actually going to do is let's put down a storage pit right there, and get these two guys to let's let's actually let them help that guy finish. The quicker we can get this bolt, the quicker I can set all three of these guys. There we go. So, that is going to stabilize my wood industry. I'm happy with that. And now it's just onto the food. I am going to mine or gather all the berries here first. I think that's the smart thing to do. But I'll need five guys or five hunters uh, or foragers, whatever, to build those farms so or actually to get a sustainable sort of um, food source going so this guy will put down the first farm and we'll put it down right there supply is still looking fine I'm getting a nice steady source of uh, wood and gold and there's actually an elephant here Man, those elephants kill the guys quickly. But let's get that meat. Let's get that guy to finish up there. While I can salvage this meat, I'm definitely going to. So it seems like... Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I actually have to build up a military. Um, that's a bit unclear at, at this stage. But uh, I think that would be the wise thing to do. So let's put uh, archery range right here. And the reason for that is I'll actually move out with a few archers to see what's going uh, on in the surrounding area. Um, just for safety's sake. And I can actually do a few nice upgrades. So I'm definitely going to upgrade as far as I can. Put down another farm right there. Okay, and we'll put down another house. So far, so good. Why that guy is actually walking... Oh, I think with meat you can only do storage pits. All other foraging sort of things you can do um, 
um, you can do off the granary. Oklahoma. So I've got uh, this will be the fourth farm going and number five and as soon as these guys finish up I'll let them finish there with the berries. I'm gonna mark these arches as one and actually start moving out a bit to see what I can spot in the surrounding areas. I'm just gonna keep a close, close eye on them, and we'll do that upgrade. I need more food. Okay, so let's get that uh, archer in the mix there as well. Luckily, they are a bit stronger than than the normal uh, hunters and Egyptian forager guys, whatever you want to call it. Basically stronger than your normal um, worker. Um, so it's, I'm definitely gonna have to put up a dock. I, I'm 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 aware of that, but I want to see how far the land goes. So I think I've reached it, and then let's see how far we can go down this side. Let's get another worker to build a dock right here, and then I think we have to start moving on to some warships. <laughs> Let's get down a dock right there. Mark these guys as one. So I've got some meat on that elephant. I'm actually gonna push one of these guys back into to getting some wood for me. Let's see what's down here. I've not played any of these missions in any shape or form. This will be um unexplored territory for me as well so it seems like that's where I'm gonna be limited to land um, sort of um, land uh, the land is restricting me from moving forward so I think let's get out a few warships and I'm also gonna need a few transport ships but I think I can actually sustain two docks at this stage what else can I build? I can actually do siege workshop, an academy, government center and a temple. I haven't seen any of these two. But um, I'm going to start doing some upgrades as well. We'll do the warship upgrade. going to be doing double production and a light transport. Let's push out some more archers and bowmen. Then uh, I can actually get them across. That might be a good idea. We've got a nice little industry here. Yeah? I'm happy with it. Okay, so I need to build more houses. So let's get this guy to just set up another block there. And... What else? I don't even have enough wood for that academy. So I think I'm going to push this guy into getting some wood as well. We need quite a... Quite a large industry. And while I'm at it, let me put down a secondary archery range. 
So I've got a transport ship. Let's just move out of this warship a bit, so... Get a third one going. And as this finishes up, get this guy to repair this. Move that one back. Get it repaired. And I'm actually going to load all these guys in, in here. I don't know how many I can actually load. Okay, so I'm going to move forward. But it's going to be a bit tricky to take out all these. What I am going to do is, I'm going to let this guy repair the ship right here. Then I will train up some more archers. Or for that matter, let's get uh, some more bowmen. Let's do the upgrade. I don't have enough here. I can I can take out all the threats here. It's not going to be a problem. I had a lion somewhere. Okay, as soon as this ship is repaired, I'll be moving around and I'll take out this tower as well. That's going to help me out a lot. Get this transport ship going back. And then we're just going to hammer on uh, getting some more ar ar archers out. Um, and I think that's going to be the plan going forward. Just uh, play it strategic. As strategic as I possibly can. Unfortunately, this little party is not going to do me any good. At this stage. But I'm running a bit low on, uh, on, on my wood supply, so... Need to build more houses. So, I'm gonna need to take one of these guys off wood and get another housing block set down. Let's move these warships around. Let's actually see what is down here. I'd love to know if there's anything here. Just for curiosity's sake. So let's move around. Get some more. What's the damage difference? So that's five and that's three. But I don't have any sort of armor upgrades. Does that actually... No, not gonna help my uh, <gasps> cause at this stage. Move around here. So I need to still take out that one tower and this one here. That's also gonna help a lot. And I think if I get two more out, two more of these bowmen out, I'll actually transport them over as well. So far so good. Doesn't seem to be going too bad. Okay, let's transport them over. And then I'm actually going to see what it looks like if I engage in a battle with them. So I need to put down a few more farms here. Just to keep the food supply going. That farm is also run dry. And this one will run dry soon. I'm going to send this uh, ship back. Moon. 
So let's see how this goes. I can't see this going tremendously good. But um, if I've got this tower, so no, that's a bad idea. Can I move away there? I'll engage the tower here together with, uh, with my other archers. Okay, so let's all attack the one, the last one, hopefully. Get that prepared, and that guy can forage some berries. I actually need that transport ship. Pick up this one worker, yeah. Fighting. Fighting. And offload right there. So let's take out oh. that lion. Oh. So that's also not a threat. Let's move up a bit and see what's still on the rest of the map. So I need to put down a town center. Town center. Okay, am I missing something? Why can I not put down a town center? Town center. What do I need to put down a town center? So it seems like it's fairly simple, except I'm missing something. Maybe I need these other buildings. We'll find out soon. Rogan? So I need a town center. I've located the large island in the center. That's the cent uh, island in the center, and this is where I'm actually going to get some stone Donna from. E? And as soon as that's set up, Rogan? Well, while I'm here, I can actually see what all these things do. And this guy here can build... I'm literally not seeing a town center. Let's build that. This is a government center. We'll help that guy complete uh, that government center. Let's actually explore the other, oh. other islands while we can. Because I'm, I'm actually just waiting at this moment, so I can just as well load up this transport ship. And we can actually unload it right there. And let's take My care of that crocodile as well. What do these two buildings do? So from here I can train some more. That's just to do architecture. And now I can do a town center. Fantastic. It's always a catch. Put down that town center. And let's explore this section. I don't think there'll be anything on on here. Um, maybe some extra resources or... But I don't think anything more than that. 
Aite, Flaribus, Somus, Erectus. Just like I Aite. thought, it's pretty much Odin. empty. Nice little Aite. gold supply. Aite. Take out those lions. Hunes, Hunes, Flaribus, Ebertani. Town centers Done. down, and then we need to watch towers. And for watch towers, we need stone. So that means I am going to have to start getting some stone. These two idle, or actually these three idle workers, I'll load up in there and take them over. So that's pretty much what this uh, mission is going to entail. Uh, fairly easy. It's now just to get that. Uh, well I can actually research here at the marketplace to. Oh, that's for wood cutting, production of farms. So nothing. I can basically use here and this is going to be the only section I can get stone from. Has that ship uploaded everyone there? I'm not entirely sure. So, so we'll drop him off right there. So I'm going to need 300 stone. There we go. Get that stone going. We can actually put down. We can actually do a civilization upgrade while we wait. Can't do any damage at this stage. It's not costing me any stone. So I'm gonna actually just get 300 stone. I'd like to see what the next um, upgrade is going to actually bring uh, bring changes to my, I might be able to do some more upgrades on the archers <laughs> so while I am waiting here I can actually check out the building so this is a government center so we can research nobility and this does 15% um, this is actually a nice one archer hit points then we can do writing. Um, that's for shared exploration with allies and architecture. It's uh, minus 33 build percent build time and plus 20 percent building walls HP. So that's just to increase the HP. What else can I build here? I know what a temple does. And let's see the siege workshop. Get that guy to help out there. Actually got Done enough it. wood. Let's so put down. And we can just as well do the upgrade to the sentry towers. Almost done with that uh, upgrade as well. That might bring forth a few new buildings, which is also which will also be quite nice. And does this open up anything else? That seems to be it. Okay, so we are on the next upgrade. Everything looks very nice. Can I do any new buildings? I can do a wonder, which is very expensive. And some more upgrades. Aristocracy, um, academy units 25% faster. I can do elephant archers. Fantastic. Uh, that that that's actually quite uh, quite a nice little. Did I actually need guard towers? Yeah. So I I, ne I anyway needed to do all this. I can do the chain mail as well can I do 
at the marketplace. Storage pits. Okay, marketplace pretty much stays the same. The other one here is ballistics, increases missile weapons. Alchemy, one plus one ballista and missile weapons, and that's for siege weapons. Pretty nice. What? It uh, doesn't even give me the option for. Okay, so that's a guard tower. That's pretty nice. So we can speed these things up a bit, get all those workers going, and I should. I'm on the Iron Age now, so I should uh, be. There we go. Complete the mission. This was quite nice. Not too bad. So let's have a look at the historical outcome. The fortresses at the second cataract were successfully in keeping the peace in the region for about 300 years. In terms of American history, the span would compare to the period stretching from the settlements to the Jamestown colony in Virginia and to the outbreak of World War I, around 1600 BC. A new ruling force in Nubia, the Kashites, became sufficiently powerful to overthrow Egyptian rule and destroy the forts between 1550 and 1300 BC. Uh, stronger pharaohs returned to Nubia and conquered it once more, uh, this time extending their control up the fourth cataract. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this. This was super fun. Join me on the next uh, episode for another comp campaign mission. And uh, if you like it, subscribe, uh, leave a comment, and uh, see you in the next one. Peace out.